Hey there guys, how's it going? It's me back again. I was on YouTube trying to figure out how to replace the drive belt in my Dyson over there, and I stumbled across this pretty cool channel called Performance Reviews. He's a vacuum cleaner technician, kind of like a mechanic, from Colorado, who makes this video blog of his daily life of working on these vacuum cleaners. For somebody like me who loves to see how stuff is taken apart and how it works, absolutely fascinating. I highly suggest you go check him out. He needs to get a couple more subscribers so he doesn't get screwed over by the uh, YouTube partner program, so anything is appreciated, right? But watching his videos inspired me to make one of my own. This is my 1982 Hoover Concept 1 power propelled vacuum cleaner, and uh, it's got a bit of a history to it in my family. My grandmother purchased this vacuum brand new in 82 and uh, used it up until she passed away in about uh, 2004. My parents then went down to clean out her estate in 05 and decided that this vacuum cleaner was probably far better than whatever piece of trash we had at that time. So they brought it home. It was in daily use up until about 2011 when it developed a problem in the power propelled mechanism and pushed it off to the side and we bought ourselves a fancy new SIBO. However, like most pieces of overcomplicated German engineering, developed some kind of obscure electrical fault and we returned it to the dealer. I discovered that the problem with the power propelled system was the little clutches inside wore out and needed to be replaced. So I found a uh, rebuilder for those and uh, had the power propelled system rebuilt. And the vacuum was again in daily use until about three years ago and I bought that Dyson over there at a garage sale. So I figured without further ado, I will take this thing apart and show you some really cool features of it that you just don't see anymore on modern vacuum cleaners. To start with, this vacuum is unlike modern vacuums in one massive way right off the bat. This is what you'd call a direct air or dirty air vacuum. What that means is dirt is picked up down here where the cleaner head is and is transferred up a pipe and is sucked directly through a spinning fan. Um, where it is broken up and ejected upwards into a filter bag. Unlike most every modern vacuum cleaner which uses what they call a bypass design, like this Dyson, where dirt is picked up from the cleaner head, brought up and into some kind of filtration device, be it a bag or a cyclone separator like the Dyson uses, and then mostly clean air is sucked down through the motor and through a filter. Now, one thing about the direct air system that everyone seems to like is there are relatively few bends and hang-ups for the air to get kind of slowed down on, meaning that the vacuums work very well. The problem really is filtration. On this vacuum cleaner, there's one filter. It's the paper bag. There's no HEPA filtration on this vacuum cleaner, and I don't even want to think about how much dirt is just blowing right out the back and back into the house. And the second feature that's really interesting is the power drive system. I don't think I could name off the top of my head, at least with my limited knowledge, any modern vacuum cleaners that still have a power drive system. However, in the 1980s and I believe even into the early 90s, having self-propelled vacuum cleaners was actually a pretty common thing. Now, one of the reasons that I think that self-propelled vacuum cleaners were more common back then is vacuum cleaners were heavy. This vacuum cleaner is obscenely heavy. I'm not a weak person, and I have trouble carrying this thing up and down stairs with one hand. I have to carry it with both hands, and it's a big deal. Something compared like this Dyson over here, I can just pick this up and walk around with it all day, holding it from the handle at the top. You're not going to be able to do this with this thing. Now, from what I was reading on the internet, many vacuum manufacturers made self-propelled vacuums. However, they were very simplistic and I don't think they really worked very well. Hoover was the king because they developed an incredibly unique and incredibly effective drive mechanism that allowed their power propelled vacuum cleaners to really work. And I'm going to take the cover off of this one and I'm going to show you how it works because it's absolutely fascinating. Now once we take the cover off, we can see a multitude of cool features under here. First thing that really jumps out at you is the fact that there are two frames. There's a frame here that suspends the transmission for the self-propelled system, and there's another frame that suspends the cleaning head, this big piece of glass fiber reinforced polyethylene um, that's sort of hanging out here. 
Now they articulate up here on these two bushings and this allows the wheels to maintain contact with the floor even if the head of the vacuum cleaner is going up and down. As you can see, I can lift it up and down here and the wheels don't move. Now this is a huge part of why Hoover's self-propelled system really worked. The second part is the design of the transmission mechanism itself, which really is fascinating. It runs here off of a separate belt than the drive belt for the uh, cleaning head mechanism. And you can see there's a pretty sizable gear reduction going on with this large pulley going to a small pulley, or rather a small pulley to a large pulley. And then this input shaft runs in here and rotates a splined center shaft on which this double-ended thread spool looking thing rides. Now this is actually basically a pressure plate in a clutch and it's allowed to slide backwards and forwards on the spline shaft. Before I go any further talking about the pressure plate, I have to talk about the clutches themselves. The gearbox is made in such a way, you just saw it happen right there, that one shaft that the wheels ride on turns two gears opposite directions. One gear turns this in one direction, and one gear turns this in the opposite direction. Meaning if I roll the vacuum cleaner, you can see them turning at opposites. Now, this is beneficial because this center pressure plate only needs to turn one direction in order to clutch forward and backwards. It does this by being moved by an arm coming down here from the top of the handle, which pushes this back and forth, as you can see, See if I can get that in focus. Making contact with either one clutch or another to engage either forward or reverse. It can do this on the fly instantly without the vacuum cleaner taking a long time to change direction. Now this clutch design alone is the reason that this power propelled system really works. This vacuum is very easy to use effortless, I would say. You push down on the handle and it takes off, and when you want to come back, you just slide it backwards and the vacuum backs up without any problem. Now, one issue, though, is things don't last forever, and the original friction material on these clutches was asbestos, and over time, it wore down and wore down and wore down until it was metal on metal and was making terrible noises. And uh, as I said earlier, I discovered there's a company, I don't remember where they are, but they rebuild these mechanisms. And uh, I'm pretty sure they just send you a new one because the old one, the casing was metal and the new one is, as, I can, as you can see, uh, glass fiber reinforced polyethylene plastic, just like the cleaner head. But it bolted up and it works perfectly. And uh, it's really quite a cool piece of engineering. Now another interesting feature of this vacuum is the fact it has a rewindable cord. I know this is common on cylinder style vacuums, but on upright style vacuums like this, I don't think I've ever seen this before. You just reach down, pull out the cable like this, and then when you're ready to rewind it, simply press the button on the top and uh, it just winds right up. Albeit a little bit anemically, I think it's probably gotten a little weak over the years. Now without any more gabbing on from me, I'll go ahead and plug this thing in and turn it on and show you how it works after all these years.